Okie dokie. New run. We're gonna play as the uh, as the robot. I'm so glad that you're filthy rich. Okay, how many more skeletons do I need? One more skeleton? Oh, come on. Come on, game. Come on, just just give it to me. Just give it to me. Don't make me do this again. Okay, down we go. Lack of ammo killed me. Okay, we're going to activate curse mode this time. And away we go. Yep, it's basically it's basically like the binding of Isaac. Just I have a lot more control over my where my shots go. Give me that key. No, no, absolutely not. Come here, you little pain in the ass. Thank you. No, 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 no. Don't give me three. No. Absolutely not. Go back from where you came. You. A oh, god damn it. I picked up the key. God damn it. Look, you jammed assholes. Go away. Do not give me wave three. I just beat wave two and it was all jammed jerks. No, 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 no. Don't give me a jammed ghost. I just dealt with other jammed jerks. I don't need more. <laughs> oh, yay. A red heart. Because, you know, that's useful on robot. The game is, is pitching me the middle finger, I swear. It's like, you know how you haven't beaten the Lich in a while? Yeah, you're not going to beat the Lich again anytime soon. Okay. All over, please. Yeah, I haven't seen like a secondary use for hearts in this game. Maybe when the D and D, uh. Uh, DLC finally drops. We'll get something like that. Oh my god. You're being ridiculous, Jammed. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Oh, come on with that. Excuse me. Blow up, please. Thank you. How much time has it been since the announcement? Like, a year? Like, I think I think it was originally supposed to come out, like... Oh, God, I am bad. I think the jammed, uh... Or, not jammed. The uh, Dungeon Dragon stuff was supposed to come out, like, last December. And now it's just waiting in hell. We don't know if it'll ever come out. We're hoping it'll ever come out. Uh, it's it's basically in purgatory. They haven't given an update. Last we uh, like last we heard, it was just that the the Nintendo Switch version of the game 
was really making it hard for them to focus on the DLC. But the Switch version of the game came out in, like, March. So... Now we're just kind of waiting to hear from them. I mean, they're a good company. So, I mean, I know they'll get, to get it to us eventually, but... It'd be nice to have now. Game, why would you do this to me? Why? Why would you do this to me? Okay, well, hopefully we'll be able to get rid of our, um... Hopefully we'll be able to get rid of our, uh curse sometime soon because now I have the item that allows me to steal and I'm getting hit by every goddamn thing in the game all three chests on my starting uh Starting floor are uh, brown chests. That just feels bad. That feels bad. And I get rid of the water, and my first fight is Gatlingle. Also feels bad. would have been such an easy fight if I still had my coolant leak. But no, I had to get rid of it like a ch like a simp. Not sure how I feel about the Corsair being my uh, being my item here. Okay, well, down to the oubliette with us, and hopefully, good things will happen. I could I could really do with a curse lifting, um, a curse lifting fountain. Or a Shrine of Glass. A Shrine of Glass would also be good. I forgot this thing shoots a lot faster than I've been shooting it. Let's go this way. Uh, the red button is a fairly new thing. It's literally just a save point at the end of a floor. So that way, you know, if you don't have time to do the entire hour-long run all in one go, you can pause. That's all it is. Man, I'm just getting bodied this run. Jeez. Just getting hit by every damn thing. No, I just, I just keep on playing poorly. Uh, you have basically nothing. Come 
Come on, game. At least try to convince me to steal something. Let's go. Let's go. We could use a better gun. Okay. You want to fall over, please? Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Yep, I did touch the Lich statue. Oh, hell yes. Okay. I feel better. It's not the best weapon I could have right now, but this is so much better than the Corsair. Okay. Well, it's one of the chicken guns, yes. Gotta make sure I don't accidentally touch the chickens. Which I have done many times in the past. I'm gonna go deal with the boss right now. Blobby Lord. Okay, we're good. Yeah, the the uh, jammed chickens deal damage to you. The normal ones do not. Okay. I'll just take damage, don't mind me. All these hearts and no keys makes me sad. Next time use a key, I would if I had one game, I would if I had one. Oh, I'm so dead. We're, we're gonna call this one a redo right from the go. This game is sadistic and cruel. Those, both of those things are true. Oh. Okay, game. Give me the key after I've already opened the last, uh, ch or broken the last chest in this floor. That, that's okay. Wow, I never see those enemies on this floor. Okay, we 
we got this. Just gotta be careful. Okay, I have absolutely no ammo whatsoever. We have a lot of money. That's always nice. But we have no ammo, so the metronome's gonna be useless. Welcome back, Mako. Okay, let us find ourselves a anti-curse fountain. Come on, game. You can do it. That's it. That's game over right there. I don't know how I dodged all that. Game, I hate you. I could steal the Vorpal. I, I, sorry, I, I could steal the Bracket Key, but stealing would automatically put me above 10 Curse, so then I would just be boned. I, yeah. Yeah, I see that mouth. I see that mouth. No, go to hell. Go to hell, Mimic. I saw that mouth. Oh, a lot of roguelikes, and Hand of Fate is a roguelike, do tend to use a lot of the same themes. Eventually, one day, Hannah Fate might return. We'll find out. Not making any promises. I just haven't felt like playing it, which is why we haven't seen it. Okay, game, can I have a, like, ammo refill? Like, if you really want me to use the Corsair, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna, you know, not do it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it, I will. But can I have an ammo refill? I'll use the Corsair, I will. Uh, Lich has been part of, like... Oh. A Lich has been part of, part of, like, fantasy lore for a very, very long time. That's not anything new. Liches were in D&D &D, uh, for, you know, years before Hand of Fate 2 years or something like that. The thing that was popping up over my head was the item Metronome. So Metronome says that every enemy I kill in a row with one gun without taking damage or changing that gun gives me um, additional damage up to a cap. But as soon as I take damage or as soon as I change guns, I lose that. I'm opening this. That's also what that sound was that you heard every time I killed an enemy. It's a decent it's a decent item, especially if you don't really have much damage. The only downside is, you know, run out of ammo or get hit and you lose all of the damage you built up.
Okay, so we're not doing a curse run this time. Money is going to be a little bit less uh, viable. As you can see, I'm getting, like, no money. So hopefully the things that, you know, you want to do with low curse, hopefully those things will actually happen on this run. Like stealing and... The first place the orcs appear... You're t talking about, like, in, in mythology? Like, who had the first orc? Is that what you're asking? Uh... I don't actually know. Part of me wants to credit Tolkien with it, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. But... If it's not Tolkien, the next thing I would go to is probably Scandinavia. Because they're the ones who have, like, trolls and things like that. But I don't actually know. Oh, is it Tolkien? still alive you're still alive here come over here come over here come over here yep that's right that's right oh hey key awesome i mean tolkien popularized a lot of things a lot of his a lot of his ideas you know he took from other places because elves were around before uh him dwarves were around before him you know dragons obviously um but then at the same time, you know, I think he was the one that really kind of made hobbits and or halflings a thing. Yeah, we're just going to blow this one up. to go actually reread The Hobbit. I read Lord of the Rings in the past couple of years, but I haven't read The Hobbit since I was like six. So you basically have nothing over here worth of value. Okay, so I want slash need... Stuff. I mean, that's, that's the problem with the Lord of the Rings. It's very dry. Tolkien likes to describe absolutely everything. So, if you're... Okay, I love it when enemies spawn on top of me. So, when you're, you know... When you're a person who just does not want to be sitting here reading all the descriptions, when you're used to a lot more... You know, modern, um... <laughs> you were Elvis once. When you're used to a lot more modern writing, which is a lot uh, a lot more, you know, colorful and a lot quicker, I, yeah, I can absolutely see Lord of the Rings being, you know, being too dry. I do recommend pushing through it, though. There's a lot of very cool stuff in there that kind of never shows up in the, uh in the movies. Got both of you summoned at the same time? You jerks. Okay, Shades is down. Oh, I got caught on the door. Okay, if, if I don't get something good off of this boss, I'm actually going to restart. Yeah, Tom Bombadil. D 
Do I want to continue to use in order to use Polaris? No. Polaris is good. Don't get me wrong, but stuff like Tom uh, Tom Bombadil. There's a lot more. Um, uh, there's a lot more background to Treebeard um, and the interactions with him. Yeah, in, in fifth grade, you know, it's not gonna... The bu the books are not gonna be particularly interesting. Uh, I would highly recommend retrying them now. I mean, everybody comments on Tom Bombadil being someone who's left out of the, uh... Left out of the movie. He's not important, is the thing. Like, he's... He's definitely not an important character. He's not a character that you would really, you know, put much time into, even in a movie. But he's interesting, and he's fun. And that's why not having him in the movie kind of sucked. I mean, the movies it, the movies ignored a bunch of stuff, but the stuff they did, you know, they got fairly well done. The, the Hobbit books, they just wanted three movies. I mean... I haven't actually watched the, uh... Eh, I mean, romance story. They wanted romance story in Lord of the Rings, too. Just get a wider audience. It's... I mean, it's hard to tell some people that, hey, you're gonna be in a, you know, 12-hour-long saga... And the best interpersonal relationship you can expect to find is between a hobbit and his horse. You know? The movies also don't go into what happens after, you know, after the destruction of the ring. We don't really, you know, see what happens to, to all the hobbits because there actually is a story of what happens to them. There's a story of what happens to Aragorn. I can definitely say I'm not as big a fan as you are, but I, I'm a pretty big fan. I enjoyed them. Hey, you. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Excuse me? Thank you. I need to figure out how far along that achievement I am. I, I, I expected to have that achievement a long time ago. It's getting kind of irritating by now. I found that a lot, I guess a lot of like, the end of the third book is in extended scenes. Or, like, deleted scenes. But it's like, you know, those are, those are mildly important scenes. Hi, friend. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. We're going to have a good run. The game decided that I am going to have a good run. Where's my boss? I want to go say hi to my boss. Boss, where are you? Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Let's, let's, let's talk. Yeah, let, let's, let's talk.
damn it. I should never been hit by that. Okay. Well, we are not going down to the oubliette this time, which feels kind of weird. I almost always go to the oubliette, but I could not. But I had to open up the black chest. I mean, the game didn't put the middle finger down so much as it just said, okay, I'm going to grant you a concession. Oh, that's right. I said that after that. Someone remind me before I do the next run to go look at my uh, Steam cart. So I did say I would let you guys know what's what's in there. keys yes i rejected a free item for damage the the items that come out of brown chests are not likely to be worth the trade for damage that five percent damage increase adds up over time and brown chest items just tend to not be good That's not to say that they're all bad, but they just tend to not be good. Void Marshal. Okay, so this bitch up here, this one, she is why we did not want a uh, curse. So I think I'm going to start with the bracket key. So that's 2.5. So that's 2.5 curse. And we're going to grab the yellow chamber. Avanis, can you check the uh, the exact effect of the yellow chamber? I can't remember what it is. Is that the one that uh, enemies are likely to be charmed? I think I got it before he had a chance to do anything. Crap, he ate that one. But I got him. Fire rate up as well? Awesome. Okay. I'll probably be picking that up as well. So 
So that'll give me five curse. But the, the bracket gives you a, a thing of curse in the first place. And it's, I think you guys are saying the yellow thing gives me a curse as well. So that's going to be seven. Wait, two curse off of which one? Off the yellow? Cursula does add up. It's a 2.5 curse for everything you buy from her. If I steal from her, it's only one curse, but I don't currently have a way to steal from her. Okay. Yeah, Kershula does add up. Uh, I already got the other item, right? Yeah. I don't have enough money. Well, the alternative is I could take Casey. But, I don't know. I don't think Casey's the best idea on the robot. Um, hmm. Did every room, right? Yeah. Uh Trying to see what room is most likely to have the secret room. Probably this one. Nope. Well, okay, that sucks. I'm not going to be able to get the um I'm not going to be able to get that item. Which, on the one hand, that sucks. On the other hand, that opens me up to other curse-related things that I could do. More stealing, for example, if stealing becomes a thing I can do. That being said, I'm going to have to see something really good to make me want to give up um, the bracket. Because the bracket, if I can get to bullet hell, is going to be amazing. But maybe the game will be nice and it'll give me a black market. That's what I'm really hoping for. I'm hoping for a black market right now. Okay, we good? Okay, we got a fair amount of money. Come on, black market. Ow. God damn it, really? Yeah, cursed runs mean money, but if I have a cursed run, I can't shop from Kershula. Gotta make that decision there, you know?
Also, non-cursed runs tend to have more drops at the end of their rooms. So, you know, you choose one. Oh, yes! By your powers combined, I have more damage. I love this item. So, basically, the idea is I want to get a lot of really powerful guns because uh, the Unite Ring, which is what I just picked up, says that uh, for every gun that I have, it adds 2% of that gun's damage to the damage of my current gun. Which is just awesome. With that in mind, I probably should have gone for Casey. But we didn't know, you know. Who's still alive? Okay, we have not yet seen... Damn, that's not what I want to see. Actually, the you only get one curse for stealing from her. You get 2.5 curses for buying from her. So it's actually better to steal from her if you can. By the way, if you're curious, the only reason I'm not using the bracket is... Ow. I want to get the, like, drops at the end of the room from all of my enemies. I don't want to lose that. One for one trade again. But yeah, so I don't want to lose that. So that's the reason why I'm not, uh, I'm not using it. I'm mostly going to use it on bosses just to get rid of ads, stuff like that. I'm basically saving that thing for when we get to uh, bullet hell, because then I'm going to want to shut down every room I possibly can. Hey, red hearts. So useful. Yeah, like, you know, hit, hit, hit certain enemies. Oh, I should be using, uh, this. God damn it. You're annoying. Stop dealing damage to me. Kind of the worst enemy for me to be facing, I'll be honest. I should have pulled out a different gun. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a, that's a thing that dropped. It's not a gun I wanted to drop, but it's a gun that dropped. I'm upset by that. Took a lot of damage from that boss and got basically nothing out of it. This is going to be hunt complete. Awesome.
Awesome. So that's another one of those done. Oh, that's so tempting. Like, that's so tempting. But at the same time, no. Actually, wait, I take it back. Oh, damn it, I just remembered. I have the backpack. I have the backpack. I could have picked it up. No, I don't have the backpack this run. Never mind, I take it back. I was going to be very upset with myself for a second there. Whoa, the game is lagging. Are you not dead? Do not take six bullets to the face and not die. Yeah, that's, I, I think in the last run we had a uh, backpack, and I thought I had it, and I thought like, oh god, I just gave up. You know, the elder blank when I could have picked it up. It's like, nope, that's not what happened. You do so many runs of this, they start to blend together. My pitchfork. What is my sexual preference when it comes to cartoon skeletons? Uh, I'm reasonably certain I don't have one. I am not particularly turned on by cartoon skeletons. That's, I mean, I don't think that's one of those things that just, like, ever came up in the past. I don't know. Okay, well, that sucked. I, mean, I think it's I think it's kind of hard to get aroused by a person whose only concept of a boner comes from standing around, you know? Taking some pretty unfortunate damage here and there. So, I actually have fairly, like, uh, vivid dreams sometimes. Like, I don't, I don't lucid dream, typically. But I get some pretty uh, vivid dreams a lot. And uh, sometimes, and they tend to be very story-driven. And, uh... They tend to hold together pretty well. 
So because of this, I actually have, uh, on my phone, I have a series of notes, which is effectively a dream journal. Um, of just kind of like the variety of dreams that I have had that were vivid enough that after, uh, after waking, I remembered kind of the actual storyline that went on. And uh, what, what always interests me is that it, like, I actually do have the storyline dreams that tend to be internally consistent for a fairly long period of time. Well, we're going to lose soon. Thank you, armor. I'll go ahead and pull out my phone and we'll look at those in a second. Wow, all your shit sucks. Okay. What's our ammo like on this thing? Okay, we're good. Let's go fight the boss, and then we're going to see if I want to uh, do the... Hey, kill the pillars. Sadly, it doesn't matter how low I get the kill pillars, because when the last one goes off... Okay, I need to change guns. He gets a little bit of health back. Hey! Master round on the kill pillars? Why, I... I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to take, I'm going to spend 30 uh, shells for the chance of getting a chest from this statue. Rattler's not bad. So basically, I just spent 30 shells and a key for a green chest. Not bad, not, not bad. Um, do I want to use the Rattler? I guess. I mean, why not? I hate this room. God damn it. I saw it coming and I was powerless to resist. I'm gonna start using my uh, bracket key a lot more now. Typically on the second or third wave of any given room. Because we're not gonna be seeing enough money on this floor to matter. If I could have any animal, like, as a pet? Is that what we're asking? You jerk and you're bouncing bullets.
Oh, okay, well that happened. Man, if I had to, if I had to have or if I could have any animal form any animal from all around the world as a pet. I don't know. Like, is it is it a domesticate like does it have to be a domesticated animal or will it be domesticated when I get it? Cause, you know I I would love to have like a red panda or a fox or something as a pet, but they're not domesticated, so I mean... It would be kind of dangerous. It'll be at my orders. Like, part of me just want to say I want my dog Chiquita back. She got killed very early on in her life. So I would, uh, I'd appreciate having her back. Okay. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna show the steam cart. Unfortunately, my, my steam cart appears to have been emptied on accident. I think because the finale of the summer sale always does that. So I need to go through and see what I was gonna get. Um, let me... Let me kind of look back through here and see, because there was actually a number of games that I had been looking at that I was considering. Um, and I'm trying to remember what all of them were. I was considering Tooth and Tail, uh, because the game is just kind of flat good, is my understanding. 